Mike, I didn't know if I was ever going to see you again. It surprised me that you were able to play again this season. What is your injury and how painful is it to play through this injury? Um, well, specifically, can't really get into all of the, uh, the medical uh, diagnoses. If that's, I think I used the wrong term there already. I'm 0 for 1. But, uh, I mean, obviously it was my shoulder. I mean, it is what it is. But, um, you know, I think our, our medical staff, uh, you know, Kyle Johnson, Troy Maurer, you know, those guys uh, did a phenomenal job, you know, helping me and uh, motivating me and, you know, me motivating myself and just doing the treatment and, you know, getting in there each, each and every day. And uh, I was able to get, get back out there on Saturday. So uh, it was fun, man. It was, it was a lot of fun to get back out there after, after missing a week. Adam? Did, did you have to play through some pain on Saturday? <laughs> Did it look painful? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, it is what it is, you know, like you're never going to be hundred percent playing this game. Um, you know, especially me. And I mean, you guys know, I just play so physical out there, you know I mean? Just, just, you know, just a hundred percent physicality out there on the field, you know? So all those, all those hits and, you know, blocking all that kind of stuff out there, it just takes a toll on the body, you know? So. How? Hey, Mike, I uh, want to hit you with two questions, if I can. First, when you hit the ground on the play in which you were injured, you were thinking what? Were you thinking, that's it, I'm done for 2020? Or what was going through your mind? And second, um, I want to ask you about the block you threw on Gaskin's touchdown. <clears throat> Is that going to end all debate about you and your blocking? <laughs> Uh, well, I'll start with question two. The debate will probably continue because you guys got to continue to make some articles and get some clicks. And, you know, you, I mean, you guys got a job to do too. You know, I, I respect it. I'm not going to hold it against you. So, uh, the debate will go on. And, uh, as for the shoulder, um, I mean, when I first hit the ground, I just thought I had like a dead arm because I couldn't really feel it so I was like all right like it'll it'll come back and then I tried moving and it wouldn't come uh so obviously at that point then you know just trying to you know just get out of pain and you know feel better and all that kind of stuff which you know our doctors our medical staff and everybody did a great job and uh I live to tell the story so here I am nothing Mike, I just wanted to let you know ahead of time, I'm going to write a lot about Kyle Pitts and Mike Gesicki, the tight end duo. In the Good player. Um, Good player. <laughs> Mike, the, the uh, just reaching up and, and catching, are, are you really relying on adrenaline and, and whatever you take before the game to kind of get through a game? How, what is the game day process kind of like for you? And what is it kind of after, after playing? How do you feel? Um, I mean, like I said, you know, like, I mean, I've, I've at this point, I think I've shouted out Kyle uh too much our, our trainer uh you know me and him kind of joke around a ton so he'll love all this uh media availability this is great for him this is huge honestly for him uh but uh he did him and troy my guy troy they did a great job um you know just helping me uh you know just do the rehab you know strengthen it and get back to you know wherever i'm at right now to be able to play so um honestly you know i'm just going out there and just got to make plays when they come. Uh, so, you know, whether it's once or 10 times or no time, whatever it is, man, uh, you know, once you're out there and, you know, you, you're, 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 you agree to go out there and play, um, you know, it doesn't matter what percentage you're at or how you're feeling or whatever it is, nobody cares. Uh, you got to go out there and make plays. Cam. Hey, Mike, what's up, man? Um, I'm curious because obviously every time uh, we see, you know, a Fitz or Tua thing come up, there's a lot of debate on who should be the quarterback, this and that. But it seems like for you guys in the locker room, that hasn't been an issue all year. I'm curious what maybe Flores has done for you guys as a team to make sure that, you know, that situation hasn't become anything, you know, that'll create yeah, I mean, tension. I mean, I think that, you know, the whole team's done a great job. And honestly, at the end of the day, I mean, it's not it's not up to us and it's not up to honestly anybody besides Flo. And the only people that should really 
you know, effect, if that's the right, you know, even word here is Fitz and Tua, and they handle it great. Um, you know, you always see Fitz helping out Tua and Tua, you know, supporting Fitz, Fitz supporting Tua, like however you want to do it. Uh, there, So I think that they've done a great job with it. And, uh, you know, just kind of understanding uh, each other's roles. And, you know, like I said, you know, a bunch of times, just, you know, making the most of opportunities when they present themselves. Joe? Just to be clear, I gave you credit for two key blocks on oh, my that's huge. runs. So I, I saw not just one, but two. Mm. And also, now, and also go work, ahead. Do you work for uh, Pro Football Focus? Is that, <laughs> that going to come out in my grade, or how is that going to? Okay. No, it's a joeshadgrades.com. It's very Joe, Joe Shad, Joe Shad Focus. Love it. <laughs> um, hey, I couldn't tell with the uh, jersey and pads, in all seriousness, um, have you found a brace or harness to be helpful? Or did you try multiple braces or harnesses out to pick one? Uh, yeah, I ended up, uh, ended up finding something that, uh, that, that works nice. Obviously, you know, I wear my, uh, my half sleeves that I wore back in college. Um, got away from it a little bit. And then last year, uh, before we played the Redskins, Durham's like, Mike, I think it's time you go back to the half sleeves. You know, it's, it's what you did in college. You know, just give it a shot. Went back to the half sleeves, and uh, I'll probably never go back. Uh, they, 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 the, the half sleeves have been good to me, and now they're you know covering up my uh, my brace. You know that you know people just don't even know about, and now which leads you to ask questions about it. I mean, the half sleeves have really been uh, a huge a huge part of my my career here so far. Obviously, all right. There's two questions left. We'll go to Adam. Yeah, Cam asked you about the quarterback situation. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious. We have eyes, but we don't know the fraction of what goes on inside the building. Um, why is it to our eyes that there's more of a vertical passing game when Fitz is in than Tua? And, and how do you fix that uh, in, 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 I guess, a week? Um, I, I really don't think, you know, that it's, you know, one guy is better to do this or, you know, one guy, anything like that. It's really not what it is. Um, you know, the, the game and defenses just present, um, you know, different things or, you know, it's just how, how the, how the flow of the game kind of goes. Um, obviously, you know, Fitz got in there and, um, uh, you know, made some, some big plays for us, but I mean, some of them were, you know, vertical, you know, he hit me down the, down the field, but I mean, another one was just, you know, Miles making a great play and, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I mean, I actually joked around with Fitz. Uh, after the game, I said, listen, you know, came back, won us the game. You know, we appreciate it. You know, thanks very much, all that kind of stuff. But you know, I'm not going to forget that, you know, you missed me on a touchdown. I mean, it is what it is. You know, but I mean, I, but I mean, that's just that's just me joking around with Fitz and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Fitz is, you know, he, he's, he's done a great job uh, and, you know, obviously has, you know, um, you know, understood, his, you know, his role and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I mean, he's been doing it for a very, very long time now. So, uh, you know, appreciative of him and, you know, appreciative of, you know, Tua and, you know, I just, just everybody. I think that this team uh, is able to handle, you know, a lot of adversity and a lot of, you know, different situations uh, extremely well. Last one, Sapin. I don't want to say Fitz is like Mariano Rivera out there. That might be giving him too much praise, but uh, I want to ask you, did you obviously and Isaiah Ford obviously had a little bit of excitement when Fitz came into the game. And, and I wanted to ask you specifically, do you feel like defenders start to press a little bit when Fitz comes in? Do you think they kind of are on their toes a little bit more, not knowing what he can do and with the gunslinger mentality, he can get them really at any time? Um, you know, I think that I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't speak for, you know, the defense and, you know, their, their mindset or what's kind of going through their mind, um, depending on, you know, who's in the game and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I do think that, you know, it just goes back to, I've said it, you know, I feel like repetitively uh, in, in our media opportunities throughout the season is, you know, no matter how many, you know, wh whenever you get an opportunity to make a play, that's that's when you got to make the most of it. So, you know, to me, uh, obviously, you know, you guys know that, you know, I love, you know, both our quarterbacks and have had success with both of them. You know, they're both extremely talented and all that kind of stuff. So uh, for me, man, you know, I just got to, you know, just continue to, you know, focus on my job, my role. Um, and then, you know, depending on, you know, whoever's out there, or whatever it is, whatever the situation is, um, you know, I don't care if, you know, Durham's throwing me the ball, which you guys wouldn't want to see that bad arm. But um, 
I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know, when the ball's in the air, just got to go out and make plays. That's just what this game's about. So uh, I think that, you know, everybody on our team's done a good job uh, understanding that and making the most of their opportunities.